amazing tiki drinks, you need something to munch along with it. So Roger's back with a couple of recipes that smell amazing. Yeah, they look pretty good, and they're very they simple. You know, really like uh, you have the summery vibe. You got your summery drinks. You want some like summery, like summery food, right? Yes, absolutely. You need All to right. balance the whole thing out. You got to balance it out, girl. Have you ever heard of tuna crudo? I or have any not. kind of crudo? I haven't heard of crudo. Crudo is like a Mediterranean version of sashimi. Oh, okay? nice. So you start with really high quality fish. So I'm using a sushi grade tuna. If you go to your fishmonger and say, I want some sushi grade tuna. Yes. And he'll make sure it's like the best quality stuff. And it you has can to get. be, because you're having it just like that. Like you're going to garnish it and what have you, but it needs to be the freshest tuna. And you smell the this tuna. Smell fish. It. So it doesn't it smell, smell fishy. It's not it supposed like to smell sea. fishy. Right. Yeah, it's clean then like you the know sea. you got the right cut. Okay, so I'm going to get in that tuna. Use a very sharp knife for this, please. Okay. Because you don't want to hack up the, the tuna, okay? No, that doesn't so look very good. Very, and also you kind of damage the skin right. and you lose the integrity of the mouthfeel of it. Right. It's very important, okay? And really good, uh, really good fish is also going to be almost melt in your mouth, right? Absolutely. It's going to have that consistency. Well, I'll let you be the judge of that when we taste it. All right. Okay. So you start with the tuna crudo like this. Uh-huh. Cut it against the grain. Very delicate. Take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. The best extra virgin olive oil your money can buy. I like to use my finger. You can use a pastry brush, but I just like to wash my hands. You do just, it with such it. care. <laughs> yeah, He's no, massaging you know. the tuna. My grandmother never used a brush for stuff like this. Oh, I know. The food tastes good. I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> no right? measurements, no It's all tools. good. That's how you do it. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of ginger, very finely grated ginger. Lovely. Okay. Very, this is like super clean, very refreshing, okay? Okay. A little bit of chopped chives, very finely grated chopped chives. It will wake your mouth up. Yeah. Everything on there, Put major flavor. Put some cucumber. Very, mm -hmm. you know, these little, you ever tried these little mini cucumbers? Yeah, I've tried them. They're so good, right? Yeah, they are good. And they're like so cute. They're just cute, right? Yeah, they're like cute yeah. and like tasty. Like who doesn't like that? It's like a fun vegetable. It's, it's tiny, a fun vegetable. Whole miniature. Okay, so I like to take these. A lot of people don't know on their peelers, mm -hmm. there's a little attachment. You wonder, what is that little thing on the side there for? What does it do? Check it out. So you get in there, uh huh, and you make these sexy little ribbons like this. Okay. See that? I see it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> so you take the sexy little ribbons. You kind of you can tie them in little knots, oh, spirals. Okay. Have some fun. Okay, have some Twist fun. Twist it up. This is like where we get to be kids again. This is why yeah. I like cooking. You know what I mean? Play with your food. Play with your food. Your mom's like, don't play with your food. Now I get to play with no, my food. No, play with your food. Okay. And then you're gonna microplane. This is a microplane. Yep. You're gonna take a little bit of orange zest. Just, you just want the zest of it, right? Yeah. Natural oils, very bright and clean. And black what salt. What is that? This is oh, black salt. Oh, I was wondering about that. So is there is there a major difference in the taste then between the black Yo, salt and the white it, and girl. the pink? Let me try this. That's really good. Okay, the, taste that this That has a lot of flavor. Taste this, okay, I'll share it with you. Okay, girl? Here. Thank you very much. A little fresh up. Mm-hmm. Isn't that oh, tasty? Oh, that's very fresh. That's like mm. a smack across the face, but in the nicest way. So <laughs> clean. Ah! But lots of flavor. Mm -hmm. Clean, right? I like mm. it. Okay. Okay, next so up. So when you do that, you ever go to the south, south of America? Mm-hmm. Okay. They do a thing called fried green tomatoes down there. Yep. But you can buy these brown tomatoes. They're called Kumado tomatoes. Okay. Okay. And it's they're a firm tomato of really good flavor. And I like to do the same thing how they do the fried green tomatoes but with the brown tomatoes. So why would you want this tomato over, say, your regular uh, well, red tomato? Well, yeah, and, and it's like most tomatoes, like, uh, they don't have the firmness to hold okay. up the frying like this. Yeah. These Kamado tomatoes are really good, and they have a very unique flavor profile as well. Okay. That work really well, and it kind of has that kind of look and feel of the green tomato. Right. Right? So you're cutting them nice and thick? I'm cutting them nice and thick because I want to be able to season them. Yeah. Okay. With a little bit of pepper and Want salt. Yeah, do you the... do some salt, girl. There we go. And you got to do both sides because your your mouth has both sides of taste. You yep. Know? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, people are like, yeah. oh, that side tastes good, but the other side doesn't taste so good. <laughs> I wonder why. That happens, right? Oh, I put way too much pepper. Whatever. That's okay, girl. We're friends. Yeah, so it's fine. Okay. So you see, now, now the next thing is people go into the breading station. It's called a breading station. Mm -hmm. Flour, egg. Cornmeal. Yep. And they get their hands all mucked up and juked up and mm -hmm. just don't you don't have to make your life difficult. That's uh. why they invented cutlery and civilization. <laughs> so over there you don't use it, but over here you do. Well, like I don't want to get on my hands all dirty. I'm a little <laughs> bit like Howie Mandel like that. 
<laughs> I'm a little bit clean freak like that. All right, yeah. okay, that's you all right. You can ask my wife, she'll tell you too. No, it makes sense. Okay, so then you take that, you'd move that over. Over to the last little the, station. Yeah, to the last little station. Get a little bit of cornmeal. You cornmeal. And so what we want to do is we want to cornmeal and then go back into the egg and then back into the cornmeal so that it really Double seals coating. it, okay? Well, then, you can see how it looks. I mean, they look... I, I, I didn't even know there was a tomato in there. It's pretty sexy, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's you a it, good... Fry it. Yeah. Okay. Then you take some of this. Some garlic. These are one sweet tomatoes. Really okay. awesome tomatoes. Look for those. You want Thyme. this in? Yeah, that's rosemary. Salt, pepper. A little squeeze of some lime. What did you do to the lime? You grilled it. I grilled it. it. Yeah, it helps Ooh. to kind of accentuate the flavor, right? I like that. You mix that up like that. Nice and clean and refreshing. You take that, you put that on top of there like that, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so now I, I have to, to look fit that in your tidy face. and do this. Aww. Can she fit it in her face? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a those too. Very good. Good for a vegetarian as well. Good for vegetarian, and it's right? super simple. Very, Very simple. simple.